A new frog species is popping up throughout South Louisiana, but trouble is, it's an invasive species. Tonight, Eric Zernick talks to an ecologist at the National Wetlands Research Center to learn more about how the frog could affect Acadiana. Native to the Northwest Caribbean islands, the Cuban tree frog has been a problem for Florida since the 1920s. But then a couple of years ago, they became established in New Orleans. According to Gorioso, in the aftermath of Katrina, when people imported palm trees from Florida, is when the species started migrating to the area. On those palm trees, in those axles where they come, is a beautiful, moist, hidey hole for Cuban tree frogs. The problem with these frogs is that they grow bigger and reproduce much faster than the tree frogs in Louisiana. What they saw in Florida is that as the Cuban tree frogs really became numerous, you started to not see a lot of the native tree frogs, so they were displacing them. And for the average person, it is really hard to tell the difference between the two. They come in all kinds of different colors and patterns, and they can change even while you're holding them. Uh, but if you see a really big tree frog with big old toe pads sticking to the side of a wall or a window or something like that, it, that's, be, be a suspect that that's probably the Cuban tree frog. Now the Cuban tree frog is not poisonous, but you still might want to wear gloves before catching one because the slime on the body can cause irritation. Cuban tree frog is actually a little more exceptional in that regard. It has a pretty noxious skin, skin secretion. It's nothing that you have to fear for your life or anything like that. But if you had open cuts and you, and you touched this frog, it would burn. If you brought your fingers to your mucous membranes, it would certainly burn. It the best thing to do if you think you see one is to take a picture and email it to the Wetland Center for them to identify and capture. Reporting in Lafayette, Eric Zernick, KTC TV3.